Welcome to the home of Carla Dunlap, the famous bodybuilder. We're going to go for a walk, but with a world-class athlete, a simple walk is never really that simple. It's like a homemade power course. There are places in your neighborhood that you can do lots of exercise. Warm-up exercise, flexibility, strength, and aerobics. So if you're ready for this, I suppose I am. Let's go. Walking is perhaps the simplest form of exercise for most people. Anyone can do it. As you get used to walking, increase the pace, the distance, and try some of my special fitness tricks to break up your walk. Pick places for exercise that are interesting, scenic, and far enough apart to allow for a brisk walk in between. Here in Winthrop, Massachusetts, the seawall is a great place to start our exercise. Now that I'm warmed up a bit from the beginning of our walk, I'm ready to do a modified hurdler stretch. This one is good for loosening the groin and the hamstrings, and the slow raise to the standing position helps to strengthen the lower back. Just remember, as in any stretch, don't force a position and hold the full stretch for a few seconds. Do each of the top and bottom holds for a few times or until you feel sufficiently loose. To bring your body from warm-up to fever pitch, try a few minutes of these. Wall jumps are a very advanced modification of the old squat thrust exercise. They act to increase the cardiovascular and muscular endurance of the body. Concentrate on doing the exercise in four counts and start on a lower wall or other flat surface until your strength, timing, and agility are improved. The jetties in Winthrop Beach are one of my favorite places, so I always do some of my exercises here. This series of knee and leg raises are especially helpful for the lower abdomen. From where I stand, sure footing and lots of upper body strength are a must. For beginners, sit on the edge of a wall or on a large flat rock with a towel for a cushion. I could hold you all day. Oh yeah, sure you could. <laughs> Next stop on our fitness walk is leg strength, so I've incorporated bounding up these stairs as preparation for what's coming next. Stair bounding is a great change of pace from our walk, and it really stimulates the whole body, especially the cardiovascular system. For really shapely legs, don't neglect your calves. This sturdy C-rail is a perfect place for calf raises because my heel can go below the parallel for a complete stretch, and then all the way up to my toes. If you tire out, use both feet and some arm strength to lighten the load. This is an innovative way for your partner to help you strengthen the hamstrings or the back of the leg. Raising your leg up like this also stresses the glutes and the non-working leg. Make sure your partner is applying just enough pressure to add resistance but still allow smooth continuous movement. Keep the leg level and don't allow it to gradually drop. Try for 10 repetitions on each leg. Strengthening the hamstrings will help all running, skiing, and skating type activities. These extra deep sissy squats will strengthen the thighs and the hips. By leaning back while holding the rail, the thighs are emphasized and the workload effectively increased. Your partner can add enough resistance to make this into hard work. Strength exercises should be done in multiple sets with moderate resistance until you begin to tire. So do at least two sets of 10 repetitions apiece. You know, I feel the effect of pushing down on Philip's shoulders in my upper body, particularly in my back. That's perfect because our next short walk will bring us to the upper body station. On the way to Winthrop Highland Playground, we passed Al Jay's homemade ice cream store. <laughs> <laughs> That's Carla's idea of beautiful scenery. Uh, are we going to stop there after we exercise? Oh, that, my dear, is what exercise is really all about. Firing up the body's metabolism so that you can afford to ingest more calories. Uh, like ice cream? Uh, but first, the playground. <laughs> Places like this are not just for children. This jungle gym is a perfect spot for our upper body exercises. Now we can really try to use our imaginations. You know, a woman can never do too much in the way of strengthening her arms. Dips work directly on the triceps and indirectly on the chest and shoulders. Just be sure to pick a place that allows you enough room to lower yourself until your arms are at least parallel to the ground. Keep your body tight and your head up. Chins are a mainstay exercise for the back, the shoulders, and the arms. Do as many as you can alone, then have your partner help you to do a few more. For variety, try changing the width of your grip. You know, I always end up the heavy around here. Well, <laughs> at least it's for the common good. We're both getting a great workout. Well, obviously there aren't many places to do this exact exercise, but this particular jungle gym lends itself quite nicely to our version of shoulder presses and assisted dips. To equalize the resistance, do the repetitions to failure. It really is a great example of just how creative you can be. The first time I saw these public stairs, I thought, great, what a super aerobic workout. Just like running stadium stairs, but without the stadium.
I love walking with Carla around our neighborhood. You found so many great places to exercise. Well, there's plenty of great places in your neighborhood, too. All you have to do is get out there and be creative. Boy, am I glad it's over with, though. Eh? Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, there's more. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs>